Hello, everybody. It's Dusty Hello. Sage with MiceChat.com here at Disneyland. I am joined today by Scott Solo. Hello. And there's a good reason. Uh, the force is strong with our live stream today. Uh, we will tell you why in a minute, but we're starting here at uh, the most polluted place what, in Anaheim, <laughs> uh, the Autopia, oh. which will soon be uh, reformed with all electric vehicles. I'm going to turn this around so we can talk about that for a second, and then we're going to take you on an adventure yes. to a land far, far away, but not that far away. <laughs> You see, we're right here in Maro Maro Land, which is used to be filled with a lot of polluting attractions. In the early days, Walt had uh, a train here called the Viewliner. Oh, wow. uh, they also, of course, had gasoline-powered submarines and the mm. Autopia, and all of that created a fume tunnel here, making Tomorrowland one of the most difficult uh, places to work because cast members, not only could they get hit by an Autopia car, but they're smelling those those exhaust fumes all day long. And this isn't kind of like, ironic. yeah, it's not like car exhaust. Yeah. No. These engines yeah. are riding lawnmower engines, so they have both oil and gasoline in them uh -huh. in the fuel. So it's actually burning oil. You can imagine that. I, 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 I love the smell of Autopia. I'm one of those few people who actually I mean, it's like it. It's one thing to be a guest and only smell it yes, for 20 yeah. minutes while you're That's in line. That's what's so nice about it is that you know you're getting into it when you go there. And it's another to be a cast member that has to smell it throughout their entire shift. Yeah. Uh, so Disneyland, after, you know, we've been telling you for over a year now that Autopia would be changing. Uh, but Disneyland has finally confirmed it to the LA Times. Our friend Sammy wrote up the article. Um, I've been working with him for a while on it, uh, and they're going to electrify the Autopia. When, they Very will not exciting. confirm, but they said in the next few years, we have a feeling it has something to do with a new Tomorrowland project yeah. as well. So we'll probably see the complete transformation of this attraction, as well as the areas in Tomorrowland around this. Uh, and. And off we go. We're, we're yeah, headed go. out of Autopia. It would be, yeah, it would be great. Even though, <laughs> like you were saying, all those old attractions that had a yeah. lot of noxious fumes. I'm not sure if that's ironic yeah. that that's what the future was predicted to be. But hopefully it's our new tomorrow will be a little bit less. pink trees in front of the monorail. Lots of people waiting in line for this attraction. This was a very rainy day this morning. I got here at 6 a.m., hours before the park opened. And there's a reason that we're headed towards right now. Today is the very first day of Season of the Force. Yes. You may recognize that name. Years ago, they used to have a campaign here called Season of the Force where they turned a lot of the attractions in Tomorrowland into Star Wars themed attractions. And they had a Star Wars film in the Tomorrowland Theater. They turned Space Mountain into Hyperspace Mountain. They had stormtroopers walking through. Mm. Um, all sorts of Star Wars related foods at the Tomorrowland Terrace, which they call Galactic Grill. Yes, yeah. And. Um, and then it kind of went away. They were still doing some of that every year, including turning Space Mountain into Hyperspace Mountain. Yeah, that was But once it. Galaxy's Edge opened, they stopped doing Season of the Force. Well, it's back. It is back, and now it's back in both Tomorrowland and Galaxy's Edge. And we are about to take you on an adventure. You actually had one of the new items, uh, the Bantha Burger here at Galactic Grill. Is it made from real Bantha? Uh, it is. As close as I can get to it, it's the pa the patty is actually half beef, half veggie patty. Oh, I thought you were going to say half beef, half Bantha. <laughs> and there's some pork belly in there and some slaw, uh, spicy, so tangy half slaw. half beef, half veggie. It's yeah, very so interesting. It, it does. So if you, anyone's had a Boca burger or a veggie burger, you know what that patty can kind of taste like. Scott, I have so. learned that when there are queue lines like this with yellow oh, tape yeah. and long queues, and they don't lead to an attraction, they lead to a popcorn cart. They sure do. It usually means... New... New popcorn, popcorn buckets. buckets. Yeah, there's two. two oh, one is buckets. a return of, I think, the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket came out probably with Season of the Force last time. 
2018, 2017 or so, but the new Java the Hut bucket, which is right down so here. 34.25 for the Java and 29.50 for the Millennium Falcon. Here's, Here's Java. the Java. And if he is powered, he sure you is. open his mouth and he makes. Well, you won't be able to hear it, folks. I can it's barely very, hear it. Very yeah. crowded here, but when you open it, you hear him laughing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Also, yeah, comes included a little keychain of salacious bee crumb. This salacious crumb. Really yep. And then here's the Millennium Falcon bucket. Oh, you have one. I didn't. I, I don't sure know why. Did. I didn't, it's so subtle. Yeah. Uh, and he's also holding a lightsaber umbrella, mm -hmm. which was my umbrella from this morning. Because when I got here this morning, it was raining. Oh, and cold. It was raining. We were worried it was going to rain all day. So I'm all bundled up. But it turned into a beautiful day. And you know what? There's nothing more gorgeous than the blue sky with big, giant clouds like we, that. No, we it has really so clouds. much drama. Mike is going to be joining us in a little bit. He's actually riding Autopia to get photos for the Monday update for you. But he has been loving today because he gets to take the most gorgeous pictures. Hyperspace Mountain back with a long line, 105 wow. minutes. That's a pretty long line. Yeah. What's not back wow. is the Tomorrowland Theater. There's just a generic image there. Normally there would be a sign. What was the name of that Star Wars movie that they showed in there? Remember it was about oh. the entire history of Star Wars and how all the movies come together? Oh my gosh. Remember I don't, that? Yeah, I do. I can't remember what it was called. It would be smart for them to redo that, kind of with all of the new Disney Plus shows, so that you know how everything's connected, how Andor is connected yeah, to that would be the really Mandalorian amazing. and, and uh, the Soka. The timeline. Yeah, and because all the now all of those characters are the ones we're seeing, as you all will hear more about when we get to Galaxy. Yeah, Edge. like Lucasfilm is kind of attacking the Star Wars timeline in multiple areas now, so. Attack of the timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Another long queue, yellow tape. Ooh, is this just pretzels or a special pretzel, maybe? They have a sipper, probably. Oh, maybe they have the Grogu sipper here. And they have the Grogu sipper. We're going to take a look at that one. That one is a return, I believe. Yeah. yeah long line here for year. churros. For churros, we're just going to step through and take a look at... With his little uh, sipper, he's going to eat a frog. frog. That yeah. frog plays a role in Star Tours because mm -hmm. today launched new destinations and characters for Star Tours. The adventures continue, continues. Yes, we're continuing to continue. The continuance of the continuum. <laughs> And all the different timelines all intersect in tar Star Tours, so it doesn't matter. Uh, earlier yeah, when I rode, I was on the very first Star Speeder uh, this morning. I was the first to experience the Adventures Continues, the new adventures. And uh, we had the pod racers at the very beginning, which is not new. And I thought, oh boy, they forgot to switch it over. But. <laughs> Then we intercepted a communication from the Mandalorian and Grogu. Wow. And it was wonderful because Grogu has a frog in his hands and it gets loose and the ride is 3D. So the frog is kind of swimming out into space towards you. It's really funny. The entire cabin erupted. Everybody oh just gosh. loved it. I can't wait to go And then on. there's that scene from Ahsoka with those giant space whales. Yeah, the Pergil. Uh -huh. They're called Pergil. Pergil, yep. P-U-R-R-G-I-L. It looks like uh, Buzz is closed. Door is closed. No one in line. Yeah, Star Tours is at 65 minutes right now. 65 minutes. Yep, everyone Usually wants to see the new one. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So it really does make a difference for them to do something new like that. There are a number of different combinations right now. They've locked, locked it so that that first scene, you get anything. But the, the next two scenes, you will get new stuff. Um, and then there are a number of different um, intercepts, different okay. characters. Over here next to us is the Astro Orbiter reopen. Oh, so yeah. for the last couple of months, we've been showing you a wall here, yeah. but it reopened this morning.
this is the wall and <laughs> I'm feeling very sentimental. It's been here so long now yeah. that now it's just a part of our lives. <laughs> Look, it's the wall is is undoing yeah, itself. It's, it's literally literally rotting it's away. So... <laughs> They're going to need to do something. Um, and you all know about this wall, but this morning I thought to myself, Walt Disney himself said, as long as there is imagination in the world, this Tomorrowland wall will never be complete. Yes. And it looks like his prophecy is coming true. It will never be complete. And I, let's just look at this for one second. Something bothers me. Everything looks pretty here. This is gorgeous. Blue sky, freshly painted Astro Orbiter, beautiful tomorrow land signs. Mm -hmm. um, everything looks gleaming. Perfect. Why am I upset? Because uh. this is season of the force. Oh, yeah. And there is no indication of that. No signage, no banners, no celebrate, celebratory anything other than the merchandise. Like, come and find our celebration because we're hiding it as best we can. Yeah, there's not even any, even the merch that was dropped today was actually more Tomorrowland merch, not yeah. Season of the Force. There were some Star Tours jerseys that were really yeah, nice. Star um, Tours, I, I like some of jersey, that. Jersey, lounge fly. It looks nice, but you you're can right, find it's not all of that, by the way, folks. Natalie Wars. Kipper did an amazing yeah. roundup of all the Star Wars uh, merchandise. You can find that. If you go to the front page of my chat, there's an article about Season of the Force read it when you get to the merchandise section there's a link to a separate article about just the merchandise uh, but the first time they did season of the force way back in 2015 and they did it for a few years all of those flags that you see on the side of the people mover track all said mm. season of the force one year and then the next year they had all of the villains on one side and the, oh, wow. the heroes on the other side that was so smart You'll see when we get to Galaxy's Edge, same problem. There is no indication that there is any kind of celebration going on. And I think that would have been a wonderful opportunity for them to have done something colorful for Season of the Force, just to see how people react to it. Especially in Tomorrowland. Right? You can always little, use a little sprucing up, a little plussing. This used to be Triton's Lagoon, now it's the Fairy Lagoon. The whole fairy franchise is feeling a little long in the tooth. Oh. They don't do anything with the other fairies other than Tinkerbell anymore. And it feels like time for them to update that. I just wanted to walk everyone by the pink, the pinkening. Ooh. People want to know, are the trees pink? How long will the trees be pink? When will they hit peak pinkness? We've got They're one really pink tree. are right now, but you can see that is just a gorgeous mm -hmm. sight. More lines, more to every popcorn cart, any cart anywhere in the park is just jammed mm -hmm. today. Castle's looking beautiful, no fountains today because we're windy. Yeah, very windy today. Not and then nowhere. here's the backside of Magic, you'll see Walt and Mickey there, turning their back wow, on us. That's a beautiful shot. Trees that's... on one side, there's one pink tree, one tree with no pink, one tree that's losing its pink, and one that's just starting to get its pink. So they're each in a different phase. It's sort of like the Four <laughs> Seasons. <laughs> Reason for that, it probably has something to do with how the sun hits them, but. Really beautiful shot with the clouds in the background. Isn't it gorgeous? I you just, never get that today here. has just been stunning. So should we go through the castle and go to Gal Galaxy's Edge the short way here? Yeah, I love going this way. You don't usually get to walk straight through the castle, so let's do that. Darren Roberts sent us some love. Darren is always so supportive. We really, really appreciate our viewers, and especially folks like Darren who make a point of letting us know that these live videos are appreciated. I actually schedule my whole week around <laughs> these live videos because I have to be available to be at Disneyland, mm -hmm. so I need to make sure I have a park reservation. Oh, yeah. if the Which have been very difficult to out, get I need to work with our ticket sponsor getaway today to make sure I have admission. If I have a client that needs to meet with me, I make sure it's never on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. The park has felt very busy today. Very busy. Clearly a lot of people wanted to come here for Season of the Force, but it is also another thing 
<laughs> it's spring break. Spring break. And you know it's spring break because you see large bands of teenagers roaming together <laughs> without parents. <laughs> they are free. They will not be constrained. They can go anywhere they want. Yeah. And where are they going? They're going to Disneyland. King Arthur's Carousel sometimes has really stunning plantings. Pretty basic right now. They just have petunias. And I don't know what the stuff is that are in the green uh, diamonds there, but once they bloom, I, I hope they're gorgeous. Almost Do you remember when the Sword in the Stone actually worked and there was a little show there? No, I don't. Wow. Merlin used to come out and do a show, and he would say things, and you'd hear him through the speakers, oh. and then he would pick a child out, and they'd go up, and he would do Higginus, Figginus, and all of these different uh. spells, and then eventually the child would pull the sword from the stone. Oh, that's Really, wonderful. it was a neat show. I there were lots of stone. little things like that when Disney was in its heyday. Um, they had mountain climbers on the yeah. Matterhorn, and they had this the Mermaids show. In the lagoon. There were little magical theatrical moments like that in various places in the park. So you would feel immersed. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would feel immersed even yes. in Fantasyland. Yes. Or... Now you feel immersed in traffic. And it's not a forced immersion. It's. It's, na it's actually natural. I actually had a person the other day ask me if Disneyland was busy, and I said, oh yeah, it's really busy oh, for always. spring break. This is my least favorite place to walk, right here, this really? back. Because, uh, yes, of the, because of this. The blockage up ahead? Yeah, the heart it's attack. just the worst. Look at this view, though. <laughs> Crossing the Big giant east side white puppy side. cloud, Gorgeous. Matterhorn, carousel. It's like three peaks. And if everyone wants a really good view, uh, a low-key good view, go right to Casey Jr. Oh, that is a great idea. You get it a really, really good is. view of the backside of the castle, the Matterhorn. And the flowers right now are like stunning this. on that yeah. attraction. See a little bit of pink trees here. And you're going to see some gorgeous pink trees in Galaxy's Edge. Mm -hmm. Everything is being replanted for springtime. So all of the flower beds in the next couple of weeks are going to be completely refreshed. And Disneyland has big time horticulture money to make sure their flower beds are always pretty. We're walking by what used to be the chalet that held the Skyway to Tomorrowland. At the end there, after it had been abandoned, it had become a home for cats. It was just filled with petrified cat feces. Oh. <laughs> Magic. That's where the magic comes from. The magic. I had said to it. Does it smell worse than Autopia? Before we knew that they were going to build Galaxy's Edge back here and tear down the chalet. And I said, why don't you turn that into a little coffee shop or pastry oh. shop and let yeah. people go up there and enjoy the view and get a little Swiss pastry or a little Swiss coffee. Oh, yeah. He said, you wouldn't want to be up there with all the cat poop. <laughs> Now, we're headed into uh, Frontierland, and there's absolutely no indication that there is anything else back here other than Frontierland, because yep. it's the pathway to Frontierland. This is, no, there's nothing to see here. There's no signage, there's no indication, there's a switchback so that you can't even yeah. see into where we're headed. But Whatever it is, of I'm, course, yeah. a magical place. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through light speed in this tunnel here. But I, I, whenever I walk through here, I always hear guests who are traveling and visiting have no idea where Galaxy's Edge is. And I always right. give them a helpful hand and point them in the right direction because they don't know that there's actually three different entrances into it. Clearly, this is Frontierland. Look at these wooden beams mm -hmm. holding up this rickety old tunnel. Old western lanterns. And then suddenly, wood gives way to rock. Mm -hmm. The lanterns change to these. They still look rusted, just like the other ones, but these are a little more futuristic from a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. And now we're in Galaxy's Edge. This is one of the oh, prettiest too. entrances. It is. These are nice blue. It has the archway with the, the banners. You hear the music. Beautiful protea blooming over here, an Australian uh, plant.
And as we enter Galaxy's Edge, I'll just tell you, I had a great time here this morning. We got to see some new droids. Uh, we saw a new character walking yep. through the land. I went to Ogus Cantina to buy the the special drinks that they brought here from the Galactic Star Cruiser. Of course, the Galactic Star Cruiser is no more, but they were left with a lot of merchandise, and some of that <laughs> has made its way here. Or season of the conveniently Force. shows up on Galactic on Batu. I mean, Oga's always scrounging around for stuff to sell. So. That Oga. And, you know, early on when they were first pitching the concept of Galaxy's Edge to the fans, and they had talked about all the interactivity, and we would see Oga in the cantina, and there might be some creatures sitting on the, um, on the stools around the bar. None of that happened, but you could still imagine it happening one day. But the land is very pretty. It just it, is. it feels like it needs a little something, something. But definitely, some of the things they've added for season of the force they help. Helps give the land a little bit of life and movement. Most of the movement in the land is just from the guests wandering around because you won't find uh, much of any water in the land. No wind sculpture type of things. Very little kinetic energy. One of the few lands at the resort that is like that, because even Toontown has mm. those beautiful fountains yep. and the water features. Mm. Look at this view, unveiling oh, itself. Perfect time of day. Wow. Yep. This is stunning. We don't usually enter the land from this direction either, so we're catching the Millennium Falcon head on. Tonight, this will be a great spot to watch the, what do they call it, the Fire of the Rising Fire, Moon? Fire, yeah. And uh, Fire of the Rising Moons, it is not a new fireworks show. Correct. What it is is a new fireworks experience. So it's the regular Disneyland fireworks show, but when watched from Galaxy's Edge, you'll hear John Williams' music. Yeah. So you will actually hear the music from Star Wars, not the made-up music for the land that sounds like a sports <laughs> pop. Right. But this is a good spot right here. Also back where we yeah. just came from, uh, back by the Thai Echelon, uh, that is a good spot. And then yeah, also on the other side of the land. They'll tape off areas over here. Over here they'll tape off spots. Yeah, they'll tape off. And then which direction do you look? You look at the mountains. So you'll see. These, these peaks right here? Yeah. Ah, this direction. Above and to the right of them, Got it. basically. Yeah, so, so that right is up, more right or less up in there. This is the direction that you look yeah. right there. It's a Got great, it. it's a great so view you would look spawn. Straight up, and this would be your spot. Especially if you can get here earlier and camp on one of these chairs. Yep. Right up there where my friend Phil is. Uh, so you can. It's a great spot to, to view the fireworks, and you can sit down because there's chairs on the table there. But it's the best view. There has been a pinkening in the forest. As you can see up yes. here, the trees have burst into bloom back here as well. And there's a lot of shade here throughout the day in this spot. So those trees have flourished in spite of their location. And this up here would be a great spot for those lucky enough to be able to get it. Some new items in Docking Bay for Season of the Forest? There are, there's one or two new food items, I believe. There's a chicken, a new chicken item. We don't really have the menu up here. The full menu. It, it just like says Andorian fried chicken tip yip. Yeah, the tip yip's regular. Yep, yep. <laughs> they used they used to have the full menu there, but they don't do that anymore. They just tempt you with a couple items, and they do change that menu up quite a bit. Probably they do. one of the most dynamic menus at the resort. We're constantly adding special items for the seasons and switching things out. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, they brought the Dewback chili noodles are back. Those uh -huh. are returning from last year. I like a good Dewback. Oh, fry, they have fried chicken bows there. So they have some Oh, bows. that's where it is. Yeah. Fried chicken bow is something I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. Piece of fried chicken. Instead of the bow being like a dumpling, it's actually more like a rice taco. <laughs> but delicious. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. It's a wind tunnel in here today. It was a very windy day. We are worried that tonight we're not going to be able to see the fire of the the moon show because it's so windy. Yeah. 
to wait until 9.30 to find out, but if they do it, I'll be live, hopefully with the very best view I could possibly muster up for you all. There's a Porg right there. You have to watch out. They eat the wires on your ship. Nice little Porg. Little Porg. Yeah, he looks delicious. He does look delicious. That's what's in the chicken bows. No. <laughs> Scott, you're evil. We're not eating Porgs. Porg bows, that's what's nice. say that in the land itself, most of the experiences for um, the season of the forest are like food and uh, characters. Not a lot of merchandise made its way into the land. Yeah. You have to go to Tomorrowland for that. Yeah, most of the merchandise here is stays behind the fourth wall and is more in inside the galaxy. You won't see many branding things here other than Batu or Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. If you know any of these people, if you might be able to figure out that our little droid friends might show up, I would love for everyone to be able to see them. I think the droids were forecasted to end at 4.30. Any chance we might see a droid any, anytime soon or not? The little cute ones, the little BD droids? I'm not sure. All right. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. All right. I knew you might know. <laughs> did you ask her for the droids? I did. What'd you say? You never know. Okay. Rumor has it. It could happen. <laughs> How long do we wait? Uh, for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> on the, or on the, hurry up and just, wait. Uh, until 4.30. This morning yeah, when uh, to I so. uh, saw the very first showing of the droids ever. Uh, well, they did a test last year, but first official showing of Season of the Force. They came out that little side door there with their trainer. It was just yes. two of them, mm -hmm. and they kind of wandered around, wiggled their little droid butts, and did yeah, little droid were, dances. I didn't expect to like them as much as I did. I got to see them over by the the first order area with the They are shuttle. adorable. They, their movement is very animated too, and it's a, very intricate. Everything to the antennas on the top of their head. Yeah, their the head tilts everything has back expression. Forward. Yeah. Their heads, right. Very their heads cute. Tilt, they and they're, they move so quickly and fluidly. They have some autonomous features. For example, their stabilization. So if something bumps into it, it will adjust itself. If there are rocks on the ground, it can climb over those rocks. Wow. However, they are controlled by a cast mm -hmm. member. Who was not even hidden. Was no, he wasn't I, even trying to hide. I, I wouldn't I was have there. given that secret away, except for the fact that in all the videos that I yeah. posted today, they're standing directly behind the droids. Yeah. Like it's the silliest thing ever. They should be behind the audience. Somewhere. I was yeah. When I was there, they were literally in the front row in front of the droids. I was like, oh, that guy's playing a. Oh, that's he's he's the controller. <laughs> you can find videos on our yes. Instagram in our story today or on our YouTube. So you go to the YouTube.com/slash mice chat. I have a long video on the main page there, or if you click on shorts, I have a different video where one of the droids kind of breaks away and comes running right towards me and then just dances for me, and that one's adorable. Oh, that so was really watch cute. the shorts, one, yeah. so cute. And we had a new character out today too here in Star Wars Yeah, Galaxy's I was hoping Edge. we would see her. Uh, who's that character? Yeah. She's from she, Ahsoka. She's, she's been seen in Ahsoka. She's originally from the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated, oh sorry, She's from um, Star Wars Rebels animated series. Uh, her name's Sabine Wren. She's, and the way we see her is here in Is she related Galaxy's to Edge. Kylo Wren? No, the, the, the silent W Wren. Oh, I get oh, yeah. it. The Different. W is silent. It is, Got yeah. it. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately for all the folks standing around Ooh. here, Rise of the Resistance is down. It was down for most of the morning. Yeah. Uh, now it's down this afternoon, and a lot of people then just wait around because they may have paid for Oof. the extra selection lightning lane, and they don't want to miss it. And it makes the standby line just go bonkers when the ride finally reopens because they have to accommodate the people who paid. So the yep. people who are trying to get it for free end up waiting a very, very long. long time. It's a beautiful this plant is right here. These puffy red flowers. These are real. They look fake. If anyone has any Season of the Force questions, feel free to ask. I can probably yeah, answer them for sadly, you. Yeah, because sadly, we're leaving Galaxy's Edge. We didn't see a lot of Season of the Force. We didn't see any of the new characters. It's Season of the Force? 
I couldn't tell. Yeah, exactly. There no <laughs> banners. There's no special music. There were I we get didn't plenty run of any emails characters. about it. They they will in the app tell you that those little BD droids are going to be available. They won't tell you exactly what time or where. Yeah. They just give you a range, so like from ten to five. Or yeah, 10 I think to 4. today was eleven thirty to four thirty on the on the app. So yeah, be be patient with those. It'll be tough to find, and they might cancel at any notice for any number of reasons. So here, They're very here, intricate. Here were my hits, and you tell me what yours were from mm -hmm. Season of the Force. Um, I really loved the new destinations for Star Tours. Mm -hmm. uh, then Hyperspace Mountain is my favorite version of Space Mountain. Mine too. You know, not everybody agrees with that. You know, a lot of people are purists. They like the original version of Space Mountain, okay. or they like yeah. this scary version. Ghost Galaxy. Uh, Ghost Galaxy. Yeah. But for me, um, the minute that John Williams music kicks in, it just gets my adrenaline pumping, and it just adds that little extra. Plus, you know, the lighting effects in there, mm -hmm. you know, the few things. I just think it's superior technically um, as an attraction. So I do prefer yeah. it. And, I mean, when you build a good ride, it lasts. Yeah, and, and you know? it seems to be more popular. So when it's running, the lines are longer. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it won't stay long. It's only going to be here during Season of the Force. So when Season of the Force ends next month, Hyperspace Mountain will go away, but those scenes in Star Tours will remain. They'll just become part of the rotation. I believe they're saying there's like over 250 or 260 different combinations now for wow. Star Tours. That's a lot of different uh, combinations. It makes it highly repeatable. I do like how they are uh, giving preference to the new scenes temporarily mm. so that if you're coming just to see the new things, you will you will see, see it, right? You know, it's not going to be the first scene in will be something it. random, and then the others will kind of be locked to just the new stuff. Um, there'll be some randomization there, but of the new stuff mostly. Um, and then uh, don't miss the new characters in Galaxy's Edge. I mean, it's easy to miss yeah. if you don't want to just stand there. Those people that were asking me, oh, what yeah. did she tell you about the droids? We're standing there waiting for the droids. They could wait there an hour. They could wait there for the rest of the night because no one's gonna tell them for sure if those droids right. are coming out. That's unfortunate. Because you pay this much money to get into a park, you don't wanna have to guess what it is you're gonna see. Scott, I'm excited. We are yes. going to oh. see some new construction here. Do we get to see the salt the mines? Tiana's Bayou Adventure <laughs> in a salt mine. Tiana's Salt Mine Adventure. Tiana's Salt Mine Adventure. <laughs> Come employee on owned salt, salt mine. mine food company um, but Ooh, it looks paint. really pretty i'm gonna zoom yeah. wow we've got some paint look at that look how green trees. this mountain is yeah. just in time for spring it almost the reminds me of Tafiti. of tiana's bayou nada mountain but it looks like a whole different attraction they have even as you go down you see they've sprayed like green moss on yeah. the hillside. So over here, the hillside's kind of done. Um, they've greened it up. Over there, you see they still need to do some greening, but that's happening as we speak. Now, as we head over the bridge here, a couple of things. This is the former um, Briar Patch, Briar Patch right. shop. That yeah. was always a hat shot. It will remain a hat shop. It's going to keep its fern and planted they've roof, taken the wood but they've and the... taken the sign down. Yeah. Um, make a few little changes, most of it cosmetic, and then we'll reopen uh, as the briar something or not. Yeah, I wonder I if they'll try and get away from the log cabin feel. No, they're keeping it. Okay. It's going to stay pretty much just like this. Um, just a lot of log a few... cabins in Louisiana? A lot of log cabins. <laughs> <laughs> in some respects, there are. Um, it's just... A lot of pine forests. It, yes, it, it fits. Different types of logs. Okay. More like this kind of thing. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, that does look more. Oh, there's our show you a few things. Passage. We're going to step up on the steps here and face you directly into the sun because I know from your Yay. comments how much you all love it Yay. when I point you directly into the sun. <laughs> is it Monday that we have the solar eclipse? I don't know. I just know that I've been watching the news and they say, whatever you do, make sure you look directly into the sun. Yeah. yeah. Not. I mean, you have to use the special Stock glasses. Whatever. Food and they have me so afraid, home. Scott, I'm not going to look. <laughs> I'm not. I'm afraid of losing my eyes. 
So we're going to see a few new things. Tiana's, um, you see these new trees? They're not oh. real, these are fake. What? But they're bayou oh. trees. There's uh, three or four of them. Um, they have Spanish moss hanging from That's them. Nice. Oh, yeah. um, they're kind of, you know, scraggly. That's what it looks like. I took a cruise through the bayou a little airboat, hmm. and that's what it looked like. I mean, I didn't see any mountains or salt mines, but I did see a lot of trees and you know moss and things like that. So they've got it partially right. They do have to hide that show okay. building somehow. You get three out of ten, you're about three hundred. It's pretty. Good. Justin says they really need my eyes for the updates, so. I'm going to take one for the, for the team. Let you all watch the solar eclipse. <laughs> and if anything happens to your eyes, I will be your eyes. So I will be able to continue every Friday walking you through Disneyland. I will be your eyes. I will be your eyes. All I want from you is <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> We're headed into another major project. Lots of changes. Haunted Mansion. Uh, we won't wow. be able to go on the Mark Twain where we can really see into the project. But I'm going to oh, wow. zoom from right here so you can see another mountain unintentionally. There's the mansion. There's the construction wall. There's hey. the mountain. That used to be Magnolia Gardens. So if any of you are wondering if they kept anything from Magnolia Garden, that would be a no. It's sad. But the changes will be very nice regardless. Essentially everything except that back retaining wall has been removed and even parts of that have been stripped of their brick. Um, on this side over here they're finally starting construction on the new gift shop. We're going to see a nice image of that. Creepies, crawlies, toads in a pond. Let there be music from regions beyond. The crypt is staying. The okay. kind of side crypt that was over here has been stripped of its facade in preparation for this carriage house to be nestled in here next to the exit. Partially themed to Madame Leota, um, a little bit Rolly Crump, Gypsy Wagon-esque. So it gives <laughs> yeah. you those spiritual meets voodoo meets uh, fortune teller vibes. Yeah. I, I do. I think I'm going to like it. Yeah, it will definitely grow on me. It does not match the architecture necessarily no. of the mansion, but it's a carriage house. So normally you wouldn't find it nestled that closely to the main property, but Disneyland isn't that big. So use your imagination, Scott. Mm, I will. Are you using your imagination? Yes. Oh, good job. Good job. I the am coffee helps with the imagination. What are you drinking? Oh, nice. Just coffee. Just plain coffee? Great A Arabica from Galactic Grill. Galactic Grill. Yeah, flown all the way halfway across the galaxy. You didn't get the one with the milk foam on top and the little cocoa puffs? No, I wanted coffee. You know what would be I really love delicious? Black half, but a vanilla oatmeal latte with some chocolate chip cookies from Harbor Galley on top. <laughs> <laughs> I walked through there yesterday and I was smelling those cookies and I couldn't mm -hmm. help myself. I got six yeah. more cookies. And then I was so sick afterwards because I can't oh. have dairy, but I ate them anyway. This, this looks fan? like a cork tree of some sort. Look uh. at this beautiful trunk. See that? Spooky looking. I think I see faces. Oh yeah, definitely I see a face there. Right in the center of the screen, you see a big mouth and two eyes. That is oh. definitely a demon in the cork right in front of the mansion. Perfect. It's Raleigh Crump. Yeah. Keeping watch. <laughs> I was with an Imagineer the other day who worked on a project that's on this very walkway. What project could they possibly have ever done on this walkway, Scott? Well, it's something the fans have talked about for years, and there's a million backstories and reasons the fans have given mm -hmm. to this little tunnel that's Jean bricked Lafitte. up with the 1764. And I asked him, what's the backstory? Does it lead to the mansion? Is that how the... Um, the sea captain was making it out to his ship secretly. Mm -hmm. You know, what was that all about? And he, he laughed and he said, no, my boss asked me to just pick a number. So 1700s for the storyline around the mansion. But 
the 64 was his year he was born. <laughs> so 1764. There we go. Um, one of the managers of the park at the time had asked him what the reasoning was for it, and he tried to make something up. She said, really? And he said, no, actually, I just made it up. It's my birthday. She said, <laughs> okay, and walked away. That was the story as far as he's willing to tell us. Lots of construction going yeah, on on the say. island. Uh -huh. Zooming in again, zooming in. You lose the audio for just a second. So walkways, catwalks all around the edge of the island they are working on infrastructure for Phantasmic. Lots yeah. of work on projectors and mist screens. About a month and a half. You see that pirate flag? It's not new theming, it's just to keep people from hitting the little coffer dams that they have set up so at night they can drain if they need to and work on the fountains. Scott, was there anything else about Season of the Force that we should know? Any merchandise or food or entertainment? Not really. I think we covered most of it, if not all of it. Um, the regular stuff's still happening. The, oh, there is one um, thing going on called, it's called Seek and Find, and you have to start over at Star Trader in Tomorrowland. Mm. It's kind of like the Easter egg hunt where they give you a little card, and you have to Look run around. Cylinder. Yeah, it's these little cylinders, like a little bigger than a, a soda can. And there's six different ones. They're each a different color. And they give you a map. And you go have to walk all the way across the park to Galaxy's Edge and find them. They both give you a, a, a location and then like a name of the shop where it's at. So you have to find all six of those, which is actually kind of fun. But then you have to walk back to Tomorrowland, to Star Trader, to get your, your keepsake as, as a reward for finishing this. But what they don't tell you is then you, then you then have to go and find little boards around Tomorrowland that tell you to decode Scott, each of the cylinders. You lost me like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Prize, I did it today. What's the prize? You get a little piece of paper. You get a piece of yeah, paper as was, your prize. And it's Chewbacca's face. It's like the size of a baseball card or but it is a trading free. card. It's like it a is trading free. card. Yeah, your kids might enjoy it. But I would say just do the cylinder portion and then you don't have to walk halfway across the park to Tomorrowland for a little Hello, piece of paper. Hello, hi ladies. Uh, and so it does have the, the Aurebesh alphabet, which is uh, the one of the main alphabets the in Star Wars. Side? Yeah, so it'll yeah. show you how to translate an A to the Aurebesh A and, and so forth. But it's not really worth it. There's I went no looking for the cylinders this morning. They're tiny. They're like the they size are. of a chili yeah. can. And so some of them are really, hidden really well. really hard to find. Some of them are hanging, uh, suspended 15 to 20 feet in the air, a couple of them. So heads I, up for I, that. I first <laughs> was going to say, you know, it, it made it too hard. But then it, they haven't. Easter egg hunt is easy for kids. And it's, you That's still true. find the Easter eggs all over the park. Galaxy's Edge isn't really for kids. <laughs> and no. they've made this hunt difficult for the Star Wars nerds. So go and enjoy and find your cans, find yeah. your like the cylinders. <laughs> I just wish they would have made the keepsake a little bit more. Uh, is Mark rewarding. Twain now done for the day? Sadly, it is. I was going like to see it, if we yeah. could get you on the Mark Twain to show you the mansion construction, but there are no cast members and no guests waiting, so it's done. Probably because Queenie's getting ready to come out. We're going to take um, this route because we've already gone that way. So I'm turning you all. We're turning slowly. There's another. Speaking of Easter eggs, I just spotted one. Yeah. <laughs> Ask and ye shall find. Oh, you know, with Season of the Force, they did bring back the uh, snack card inside of Grand Californian Lobby. Oh, And if you want beautiful. something really good, yeah, they have the, the confectionery cake over there with the Millennium Falcon, but also... The Wookie cookie at that little treat cart. Yeah, it's delicious. It's the best. It's one of my favorite cookies I've ever made. It's it is like pie. 9 or $10, but... So we are looking at the Golden Horseshoe. There is a hidden Goofy <laughs> Easter egg somewhere in this building. Have you spotted it? Yeah, Andrew Kim is asking, is the cylinder hunt thing free? It is. It is free, yes. And that's why that you're only getting, a about it. So only getting a trading card. Yeah. It's free. I'm zooming in. You see? Goofy yet? 
What about now? <laughs> Gave it away. Norse. Norse. That was difficult. <laughs> Good old dippity dog. Now, Tim, you were right. It turned out to be a gorgeous day. Earlier, wow. I was about ready to go home and get my waterproof shoes and, and a. And Dusty was a popsicle. Oh, I was. Yeah, Scott joined us for lunch for a bit today, and I was worried that I was gonna die. Like I was so cold, I did not dress appropriately. But it's Weather, warmed up. Yeah. It's beautiful right now. And then again, by 9.30, when they do the fire of the rising moons, I'll be frozen again. <laughs> yes. Let's walk through Rancho Zocalo okay. and out through the beautiful Princess Fantasy Fair, which I used to hate, but I now love. I only hated it because it made no sense to me that for them to put anything Fantasyland related in front of the castle because that whole castle hub area is supposed to be the portal to all of the lands, but it's Ooh, grown on me. Popcorn bucket. Beautiful fountain. Love birds there. Back when this was Casa de Fritos, we would order on this side, the kitchen was over here. When they changed it around and made it ranchers that cold, they moved the kitchen back there. Stand in the seating area. You seen this fellow anywhere? There's a reward. I wonder what the reward is. Bird who's chirping and he woke up the cat. Aww. Oh, here comes the queen. Hello. Oh, oh my gosh. Your royalness. We are in the presence of greatness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Little girls love evil queens. Evil queen, yeah. I think that's one reason children love you so much. <laughs> oh, if anyone is still uh, uh, interested in Star Wars night, I'm talking about Season of the Force. Yeah. Most of the nights are still available. Only, oh, only one is sold out still. May 2nd and May 9th. Those oh, two now last two are. Thursday, so April 16th, 18th, 23rd, 25th, and 30th, and May 7th. That Those last Tuesdays are all still available. Pretty plantings, the Dusty Millers and different colors of purple and white. Petunias. Still Disney 100 colors. They haven't replanted mm. this yet. Chipped rock. You don't see anyone in line at Fairytale Hall because their princesses have an early bedtime. It takes a lot of sleep to be that beautiful. Mm. You know what the other secret is to being a beautiful princess forever? Mm. Moisturize, nice. moisturize, moisturize. Retinol? <laughs> Retinol. <laughs> Collagen. Noticed how the bricks on the castle have a kind of staggered color pattern mm -hmm. between blue and beige and, and pink. But when you get down to the very bottom, it looks like they've recently repainted probably waterproofing material there. Um, but interesting that it no longer matches the rest of the castle. See that? Mm -hmm. There's even a few that stick out. Uh -huh. Like these two look bluish right here. Windows are wonderful. Oh, wow. The throne. Oh, Cendrillon. King nice. Stephens throne, I believe. What is the top one? Maybe not. Maybe these are different, supposed to be different characters, because look, there's leaves on this one. Well, these are the books of all the princesses. Oh. Belle les so Bêtes, so Beauty and the Beast. Saint Cendrillon is French for um, Cinderella. I can't tell, something in Pierre. 
Pepe and Lapierre. And they're little tiny books, people. Oh, yeah. Alice. Like yeah. two inches. French. Look pretty. I can't read. And take one last look at the park here because the parade is now going. We've reached the end of our our journey. Trina's wondering where the fountains have gone. They're still there. It's just a very windy day, so they turn them off when it's windy because it blows the water onto the bridge and then guests get wet and complain that dirty green water is on them. Water is green for a reason. You don't want that reason on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did turn into a gorgeous day. Bright blue really skies. Did. We were supposed to have rain all day long and sure doesn't look like it now. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh. Yeah, look at the trees blowing around. Look who we found. <laughs> who found us? It's the shaved Wookiee himself. <laughs> Mike Kendrick, Mike, did you find all the things for the Monday update? I think so. All right. We're looking forward to it. I know you got stunning pictures today. I hate to say goodbye, folks, but we have reached the end of the lion. But I do need to tell you a few the things. Uh, first, you definitely want to check micechat.com. So much news from the last week. I was uh, at Imagineering on Tuesday. I got to visit the uh, Imagineering Research and Development Building, see all of the projects that they're working on. I saw all of the new animatronics for uh, Princess and the Frog. Really, really fantastic. I, I was shocked so many wow. animatronics and uh, one of the Imagineers pulled me aside and said you know I've read online a lot of people saying they removed all those animatronics from Splash Mountain and they're only gonna have a couple of figures in the new ride and it's not true far more figures in the new ride and much more complex animatronics than were in Splash Mountain so definitely looking forward to it I got to see a lot of the animatronics actually moving saw Prince Naveen and several of the Mama Odies and uh, several Tianas and several Lewises and uh, Charlotte doing a really funny gag. You're going to love that. Well, so it's um, not just repurposing the animatronics that were already there. Wow. All new. They're human sized but with bigger heads so that they look mm. animated. Like they look like cartoons and not real live people. So they worked hard to make sure that even though they're human scale, maybe a little larger than human scale in many cases, they have gigantic heads and big giant eyes. <laughs> they built this ride in Tokyo. They will love it. Uh, so that was an exciting thing to check that out on Mice Chat. And then we had news about uh, changes coming to Disney World, to Test Track, and um, expansion beyond Big Thunder, and what's coming to um, Animal Kingdom, and just uh, so many news stories in the last four days. I'm exhausted. This walk through the park was like my vacation. <laughs> so check out this site, everybody. Please, if you uh, see something you like, do us the favor of liking and sharing. That helps keep us going. It is yeah. very, very hard these days of social media for people to actually click through to a website. But if they don't go to the website, we don't stay in business. So if you love what we do, simply read the website and have your friends read it, too. With that, we say our adieus from beautiful Fantasyland at the Disneyland Resort. Stop by through next month for Season of the Force. Check out our news on Autopia and all of the other uh, latest things. Mike and I will have more for you on Monday. Disneyland Update. We'll see you again, folks. Real soon. <laughs> I'm forcing in the rain. Bye-bye. This is nice.